I'm Dina Sayo. I'm Demarche Slie. I'm Arielle. And we're So Do For Two. Okay, so this is our weekly recap for this week. Yes. And again, we have them ranked. Yay! Um, so number one this week is still I, I Do, I do, do. do. It's holding strong. Yeah. And I really think a lot of that has yeah. to do with the proposal that happens at sort of the end and then the beginning of the episode. Uh, for us, this was a really cute oh my proposal. Gosh. I think this is my favorite <laughs> proposal I've ever seen in a K-drama. And he gets rejected. Uh, Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen in the end, but of course we do. We do now. Um, But, I mean, it seems like at this moment, you know, a lot's going on with her job. It seems like if she doesn't get married, like, her job is really going to be affected by what's going on. Um, So, obviously, she should get married, but we know who she should get married to. We pick him. Yeah. Okay, anyway, though we do love Jung Woo. Yeah, of course we do. Okay, um, and then number two this week was Big. Big. So we love Big, and it has a lot to do with all the reveals. Yeah, and I'm really a lot of dramas happening this week because, well, we find out that they're actually brothers, which we already knew, right? Um, and then, you know, consequently, not only are they brothers, but that he was sort of uh, born in order to take care of Gong Yu's character, so because of, like, a sickness, which is really interesting. I mean, if you've watched, there's a book and as well as a movie here called in America called My Sister's Keeper, yeah. and it's sort of that same sort of storyline. Not quite as severe, obviously, but interesting. And, you know, it's kind of funny for us because we're twins and... I always call her my organ donor. Yeah. Is so that me? It's affectionately, you know. <laughs> but it's kind of like this the plot line. So a lot was happening with that. And then the, our favorite part of this yeah. episode was that you really find out that she really cares for him, that she likes him, that she probably loves him, and... It's not just, like, no. Gong Yu's body that yeah. she loves. It's... Because she realized her heart's racing, not for, you know, the other guy, but for him. <gasps> so okay, I think it's a little bit to do with Gong Yu, but yeah. we'll see. Um, number three this week was, uh, Bridal Mask. Bridal Mask. Okay, so, so much is happening in Bridal Mask again. We and love Bridal Mask. Honestly, this could be, like, number one, except it just wasn't as cute. Yeah, I mean, uh, the major issue here was, like, the torture thing for us. Yeah. That was crazy. So Hard to watch, Hong Kong having to torture <gasps> Octan. I mean, uh, we were, like, very upset about this. Obviously, the evil guy is also looking on. The guy from the musical. The and it's super movie. sad that he's become, like, evil. Yeah, we really didn't think it was gonna go that way. That's actually maybe the biggest surprise for yeah. me of the, of the drama but you know there's that going on then you have bridal mask helping mock dad so he's helping sort of like organize um, and sort of the reversal revolts. of their like fates like as you know originally kongdo was the bad guy and the other guy was the good teacher and now the reverse that's like so compelling. it's really interesting i mean towards the end of the these two episodes we have like so much drama <gasps> Building yeah. up, yeah. I mean, because before that happens, though, we have like cause it pulls. She pulls out the gun on, um, <gasps> you know, Ki Wong. Ki Wong. It's so interesting. And then you have that happening. Then they kind of ride off in the sunset together, and there's like a oh, so dramatic. And it's great. I can't wait for next week. Um, I really hope soon she finds out who he is, so that she can like properly be like, I love yeah, we want a kiss scene. Yeah. I mean, we're just going to say it. That would be the only way this would be better. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so number four for us is Dr. Jin. And I feel like these four are definitely, like, kind of all riding together. It's just hard for us to choose every week between yeah. these four. But Dr. Jin this week, so much is happening. So we have a major character dies. Um, <gasps> that was epic. Like, yeah, super really emotional. Uh, for us, that was, like, a really big deal. And then you have sort of the holding on of Jae Jung's character of being a good guy and, you know, doing the right thing and not doing the wrong thing. I think that's really the hard part right now. Um, for us, we're kind of feeling like we're separating from the, like, Dr. Jin romance with, um, Park Bin Young, and we're more interested in what's happening with Jae Jung. Jung and her. Um, sort of interesting. I mean, again, he comes to her aid when, after her brother's accident and all that stuff. So. We still feel like Dr. Jin should end up with the modern. Yes. So that's sort of our problem, but we love, love Dr. Jin, so yeah, no, it's okay. a really interesting, uh, drama, and I feel like it is getting so much better. Yes. For us. Five. I love Iteri. Yeah, now we went, last week we told you we were at 7, and they were like at the point of they're about to kiss. And we actually made it all the way up to 12, because now it's mostly subbed on all Vicky, the way on Vicky.com. So we could watch, like, you know, most of, of all the episodes. Uh, so we are all the way caught up, and a lot happens. So now, much, guys. Yeah, we still have this one at 5, but I do think it's becoming much better. And I know like, we were kind of worried about it in the beginning, but this one has really rise, you know, risen for us as a yeah. drama. Um, so we have kisses in these couple episodes. So this is the hardest part for me, guys. Okay, yeah. no one seems to be addressing the fact that he's still, like, a 14-year-old boy. 
And, like, the coach knows this and doesn't seem to be stopping him. Yeah, and, because, I mean, they, they kiss. You have, like, them start to date. Um, sleepovers. Sleepovers. And we know it seems, obviously, like, more of an innocent situation. Yeah. But still, he's a 14-year-old. It's questionable for um, me. It's not like it's, like, he's 18 and she's older. And, no, you know, she's 28 or... Is she's 14 18? years older than yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, she's a lot older. So, it's interesting uh, where that's going to go. But I'm just going to block it all out and it's yeah. keep them and... Yeah. I'm happy. Hopefully it stays cute. Now, at the end of 12, yes. we have the big sort of interesting situation where the girl from after school finds out that, well, she knows now that he really is um, dumb. Like, he really is the 14-year-old boy. Yes. Um, and, and I'm sort of conflicted. She's kind of turning around. Yeah, So I kind character. of feel like maybe he should end up with her. And he's kind of a little fickle. I mean, he yeah. was pretty in love with her in the beginning, and then, I don't know. I'm we'll really see. in love with E. Terry. E. Uh, I mean, I like the ETV relationship better, though, honestly, because yeah. it's, like, an innocent, like, friendship, but obviously... And she deserves love. Innocent. But the other guy is really good-looking. Yeah, but he's oh, a jerk. So conflicting. We don't like him. No. Okay, anyway. Anyway, that's really good, um, So a lot happened in this couple of episodes. You should catch up if you can. Um, it is getting a lot better. It's worth it. I would watch. say Big is more of, like, a dramatic drama, and whereas uh, I Love ETV is more of, like... Sort of cute, like, cute comedy. Um, I mean, interesting things happening, but a little lighter. It's definitely worth watching. Yeah, and we didn't think it was going to be in the beginning, but we do think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, it's so number six up. is I Need, Need Romance, Romance Two. Now this is also really good. It's yeah. just a little bit like in the beginning stages, so it's not going to compete with all the yeah. like and really once high up. Some of the other shows end. This is probably going to move to the top of the list. Yeah. Um, we actually everything about this week was great. So we had an epic breakup, which felt mm. really emotional. And what I love about this show is how like, raw and real everything feels. Mm. It's not, like, sugar-coated and pretty and neat. Um, and then we have, like, the proposal. Confession. yeah, that kind of thing. By the guy from um, Personal Taste, who we love. Which and is really good. Yes. Uh, the clothing was yeah. excellent in this episode. Uh, I feel like with, when she's on the cruise and she has the red dress on. Fabulous. Amazing dress, so we loved that. Uh, I feel like this is one of those ones that we're watching right now a lot for fashion. It's sort of interesting. It's getting us, like, right on the point of what, you know, fashion is like now. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we watched Love Rain in the spring. For that, it was, like, spring fashion, and this one's giving us, like, more summery interesting fashion very very cute show so that one's gonna move up in the list i'm sure so number seven ghosts yeah sadly it's ghosts guys and the problem with ghosts for us is that we just do not feel like it's going it's going anywhere like it's trying to be suspenseful but we already know what's happening we're very disappointed with it because we feel like there's a lot of excessive episodes and we're not at the end yet you know like normally dramas will do well for a while and then the kind of end has some excess episodes this one is like disappointed us from the beginning and isn't really not it's still disappointing us and I don't know why it has great actors yeah. in it it must really be either the script or it just feels like the same thing keeps happening over and or, over like, again. they killed a new character and they still have to find, figure out the plot and we still know who did it like yeah. it's very obnoxious I mean it's not as yeah. suspenseful as it should be I know a lot of people are interested in this drama right now but for us we really can't recommend it yeah so it's not our favorite guys sorry but uh, we also want to mention that um we wanted to watch Absolute Boyfriend's final episode, mm-hmm. but it hasn't, we haven't been able to watch it yet on anything. Yeah, so it says you, it's up, but we can't actually watch the video. We'll play it. So we will do that next week. Uh, we can't wait to watch the end of it yeah. ourselves, so we'll keep and it And there's updated. lots of great new shows coming out, guys. Yeah. You know, Faith is coming out soon. Uh, Hana Kimi, the Korean version, I forget the name of it now. Your but eyes peeled. <laughs> yeah, so we're so excited. <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.